you for tuning in. Here we are with the 400 back where we left off. I already started sanding uh, on the doors, well, door, just to get it going. Sanded it down already with uh, 500 grit. I'm gonna do the whole car like that because I'm gonna end up spraying the whole car. Um, don't wanna be lazy with it. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. So here we are. Um, like I told you guys before, this is a newly acquired whip and I'm going to be rebuilding it for you guys or at least be repainting it and getting it back to looking like a car. Got a lot of work ahead of me, but hey, this is what I do for fun. So I'm glad I can bring you guys along and you guys can watch the process. All right, we'll be back. So when you're wet sanding, you're gonna wanna go panel at a time, that way you don't really miss any steps or any spots, per se, uh, like here. Here's where I'm gonna have to go over it a couple more times, and also there. When you're doing prep work, you're gonna wanna make everything as easy, even as possible, because the more even that it uh, is, the more even and better that your paint will look. You're going to want to take your time in this part because if the guys that painted this car before took their time when they prepped it, we wouldn't even be doing this. So, like I told you in the past video, prep work makes the paint work. Now, if you guys can remember what it looked like before, that's what I was talking about by getting the spots out. Um, I really don't have to go into depth like that because I'm probably going to leave the car black. And since it's already black, I mean, I don't have to cover much. But if you were to do a color change, you'd want this completely even. I'm just knocking it down to get it even um, where I sanded that down because I'm going to build it up with primer, uh, filler primer, and go from there. This is a long, long process, so don't try to rush through it because, like I said, of course, you rush through it, it ends up crappy. So I'll probably be at, probably be at this for another couple of days maybe a week keep in mind I'm working as well so I can't really work on this like I want to I have it here at my shop so I can do it when I'm uh, when I got downtime but other than that it's just working around my work schedule so a tip for anybody that does have a wrap on their vehicle and they're taking it off don't use goof off or goo gone to remove the fucking adhesive it makes everything a lot harder just use your uh, take your time and if you know a tip uh, let me know because I actually can't even give you guys good advice I don't know how to remove that adhesive it's terrible though here's where I'm at I'm doing it by hand because the power supply that I have back here sucks so Hey, got to do what you got to do. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Uh, I'm going to move inside later on or maybe tomorrow since I'm running out of time. Um, and do it inside because the compressor in there is a lot better. Here's why I say don't use Goo Gone because here's after sanding the adhesive. I still got to take it off and go over it some more. Like I said, it makes everything a lot harder. So just save yourself some time and, and learn from my mistake. I don't know if I'm going to keep sanding or not, but uh, for the day at least. But, um, you know, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update in between. All right. So the last time you guys seen it, um, it looked completely different. 
I'm slowly making progress around my work schedule, like I was saying. I also got a family. I mean, hence the name VIP Daddy. Um, right now, um, getting the car sanded down and getting the spots where it showed bare metal prime. I'm not really taping anything off right now because, I mean, it's just primer and it can always be wet sanded. And I'm not going to waste the time or material to do all that. So, um, I've been sanding slowly. Um, as you can hear the, the airline leaking. I've also been sourcing parts. Um, I went to the junkyard the other day and found a set of headlights. And I took the corner lights off of my other car because I ended up switching the bumper. I'll show you guys that a little later. Um, that bumper needs work as well, but like I said, I ended up using the, the lights from it. coming along slowly but surely I'm not really trying to rush this process um, I got pretty much all the time in the world so I'd rather take my time and do it right versus rushing through it for content and then it comes out looking like shit and I got to do it over I'm about saving time and money not rushing through shit and I've learned my lesson over the years and I don't do that no more so slow and steady wins the race I'm going to be putting my walled lip on there. It's a walled executive lip. Um, I had it on my my 97, but like I said, I switched the bumper. So, why not? So that'll be getting painted and prepped as well. Prepped and painted, however you want to say it. It's coming along. I mean, when I first got it, it didn't have any lights, no grill. I mean, paint's still shitty, but it's getting worked on. So, what can you do? All right, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, so since I don't want this video to be a million minutes long, um, I'm going to cut it short. I mean, it's still going to be a long process. I'm going to try to document as much as possible. But, I mean, I know you guys don't want to see the same shit over and over again. So, thanks for watching. Um, it's starting to rain, so I'm kind of trying to wrap it up. Appreciate you guys. Go ahead and give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next video. We out.